Hello, this is another edition of Chanter Talk, and I'm coming to you from an undisclosed location. Although, if you're in Asmo, you know perfectly well where this place is and how pretty it is. Just look at that sun up there. It also looks, makes us look really short, well, me at least, because look at that house compared to me. I'm not as short as, say, those gladiators you see running around with their youthful voices screaming and pillaging all the time, but I'm on the shorter end. I'm not super short, though. Anyway, we're going to be talking about the elemental screen line, also known as the support line. I'm just going to point out the stigmas real quick, and then we'll go to some clips of it in action. It'll be in dredge, so good use for it there. Anyway, let's get started. Um, first of all, word of life. You don't actually need this stigma to use the elemental line, but it goes really nicely with it because it's a team heal, and the other two free stigma slots, because we have three total with this line. Uh, you get to use are going to be put into Recovery Spell and Hit Mantra. Hit Mantra and Word of Life go awesome with Elemental Screen, so if you have Elemental Screen, those are the other two stigmas you're probably going to be using. Next is Protective Ward. This used to have a 50% heal debuff, they removed that, and they gave it Stumble Resist, so now Chanters aren't asking themselves, should I socket this, should I not? It's more like, this is awesome, I need to socket this, and it'll save your life. It saved my life many times, it saved every channel's life many times, and it's just all around useful, really nice. Word of protect, or, you know, word of inspiration, then word of protection. Um, inspiration, one of our strongest team buffs and self buffs, it's essential as well. Uh, you won't find a channel without it, and if you do, then you're probably going to have to ask them why they don't have it, because... Look at that, 100 magic boost, ack, and then 20% physical attack. It's just beneficial to everyone, no downsides, other than a stigma slot, but it's one slot. You can live with it. Protection, um, it's not as awesome. I like it because it has elemental defense, and then parry and block are always nice, but it's not horrible that you have it. It does burn 300 MP, but it's a nice skill to pop once in a while, because elemental defense especially, getting nuked for less, it's always good. Uh, magic Recovery. This used to have a 4 second cast time, I believe. They reduced it to 1 second, but they kept the cooldown at 5 minutes, so you still get free mana, but it's every 5 minutes. Well, technically free, because you have to use 220 to cast it. <laughs> kind of sucks, but yeah, it's okay. Blessing of Stone. This and I am. I've already talked about these, but Blessing of Stone, HP buff. Actually, have I talked about this? I don't know. It's an HP buff, it speaks for itself, it's better than Blessing of Rock, so not much more to be said there. I am, likewise, if you have it, you're just going to use it because these two are awesome skills. Healing Burst. Uh, I like this one because of the animation. Let's show it real quick. If squatting were beneficial to everyone, then this is what it would look like, I guess. It's a three second heal that, or you know, three second cast for a 3300 heal. Um, it's nice, it'll help the clerics out definitely because healing is always good. It's a bit hard to get off sometimes in PvP, especially because of the cast time, but with Word of Quickness, this will be like a 1.5 second cast at least. So, definitely, if you have Word of Quickness up in PvP, this isn't hassle to cast. And then finally, Elemental Screen. Uh, I like this for the elemental defense, if anything. <laughs> if you can't tell from these talks so far, I really like elemental defense. Nukes hurt, so anything that helps against nukes, A-OK -okay with me. The PDF is nice. Probably not like too noticeable, but free defense is always good, I guess. And um, other than that, it's OK. The animation for it's kind of lackluster for Final Line. Yeah. <laughs> Word of Inspiration is more cool looking than that. Even protection, maybe. Eh, it's about the same. Anyway, I'm going to cut now to some dredge clips and just point out a couple of things you can keep in mind while using the elemental line. Alright, so this first clip is just um, the beginning room. It's not an awesome dredge or anything. It's, it's okay, but I just wanted to show the elemental screen line in it, and I got to use it a few times in spots that I'd like to talk about, so... That was weird to say. <laughs> anyway, okay, so the first thing I want to point out is the first room, if you have three minute cooldowns, go ahead and pop them. I'm sure a lot of people do this already, but it's a good habit to get into because 
99.99% of the time, you're not going to run into the other team um, before your 3-minute cooldowns are up after the first room, so you'll definitely have time to have them recharge. It's not like a common thing where you run into the other team in the first 3 minutes unless, I don't know, you have some weird strategy where you just skip as many months as possible and go straight to them. But that's weird, and that's more like for the old dredge, not for this one. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and just find another clip that's worth mentioning. Alright, Healing Burst. Um, so, in a second here, that's gonna pull the full room. And watch Healing Burst, watch when I cast it. As he pulls everything, because most mobs have um, a stage at the beginning where they cast something that takes a couple seconds, so with the right timing on Healing Burst, you can intercept that attack and get the HP back for whatever they hit like really quickly, just as I showed right there. And um, other than that, I'll steal a Shugo. <laughs> it's one of the good things to remember for Dredge. Just cast it again, but it's like, see, the 3 second heal there, um, the Cleric usually can take care of HP by the time that actually gets cast. However, it's definitely better to be safe than sorry, so, I mean, no harm in trying to cast it anyway. Alright, let's skip ahead again. Okay, PvP. So, the first thing I'm going to say is Elemental Screen, pop it at the beginning, so you don't have to worry about using it later. And I, yeah, there we go. I hit everyone with it. <laughs> they were running away, so I was worried I wouldn't hit them all. Next is Word of Life. I actually used it here too early and into an acquittal. You'll probably want to save that for when a couple people start taking damage. I usually like to use it early. Healing Burst here. See how fast that is? 1.5 second, 3300 heal under your uh, Word of Quickness. It's definitely worth using. You can use it three times, so I'll try to do that with um, Word of Quickness up. Because that's a, that's a big deal, 3300 heal. <laughs> anyway, now we're just going to watch the fight progress. We're going to see the uh, the cloth just hopping around, getting focused. It's got to be fun. And yeah, people are just going to die slowly here. Must be... I've never played a cloth, but I <laughs> can't imagine what it's like to just get focused all the time. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be the fight. I guess we're going to have to watch Templar doing what Templars do best, which is run away with... <laughs> yeah, with everything up. Well, no Disco Ball, so I can't say that he Disco Balled his way to victory, but it's close enough. Popped enough stuff to go to full HP. And apparently, Nibis is Glacial Shard. I didn't see that, but I am Glacial Shard. Awesome if they're not Magic Boost capped, which a lot of people tend to be nowadays, but there are still some. Anyway, that's it for PvP, so I'm gonna hop back into game, and I guess we're gonna kill Pikar the Selfish, see if he drops anything nice. Oh, that pull's annoying. Well, if you stand right under him, he won't pull you. I think that goes with Templars too. I'm not 100% on that, but mobs for sure, you can get in that sweet spot. And Breath of Nature. Alright, for the Ranger I don't have. Anyway, that's it for the elemental line, so later on, we'll talk about the DPS line and even the hybrid lines. Those weird things. Alright, see you guys next time.